Hi friends, it's Jara. Welcome back to my channel. If you've never been here before, my name is Jara and I make videos about faith, fashion, and lifestyle. So make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're new. First, this lighting is not the best, but this is the time I have to make my intro. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna ignore it. Um, currently in LA, we flew in yesterday. I did not film for most of the day. I did get a little clip um, of our Airbnb, so I will insert that after my intro. But I have been sick really bad for, what day is today? Almost a week. Today is Wednesday and I started getting sick last Thursday. Like serious, deep chest congestion. And I started to panic because I'm like, we leave for our LA trip on Tuesday and I had been sick. So I went to the doctor thankfully on Sunday after I had been sick for like three or four days. And I've been on like steroids and a couple other medications to try to knock this out. So that's why I sound kind of not the best. I still have a cough. I'm feeling so much better than I did over the weekend though, because it was brutal. But I haven't even given you guys really an overview of why we are here. Here's my sister. Dude, birds have already kicked all over. <laughs> I sound like a smoker with my laugh. I, I, <laughs> I'm gonna keep that in. Okay, I haven't even told them why we're here yet. <gasps> why are we here, Jara? Okay, well, fun fact. Miss Jenny, my sister, she works with Little House on the Prairie. If any of you guys are the OGs and back in the day you watched Little House growing up, Mr. Almanzo Wilder mm -hmm. is Jen's boss for social media. He is super cool so they're having a big festival this week a reunion for the first time it's ever happened for a little house where they like recreated some of the sets and stuff and we get to come we're staying for nine days <laughs> we're staying for like nine, nine days. days um i already told them how i've been sick so that's why i said yeah bless her heart she's been bad sick. we had we're very exhausted from yesterday i think we feel better this morning i do though. feel better this morning I was up for 17 hours yesterday and it's a long time for you. had a road lady on our flight, all that jazz, Sorry. but besides that, it's all right. So we're going to go get breakfast this morning at a little cute place for, for Jen. Yes, so excited. And um, then we're going to go to Traders and Aldi's because we want to get some little things for the Airbnb. So anyway. That's my intro. I will show you a, a couple clips from yesterday, I think, um, and then we'll kind of get into today, or I'll show them before this. Who knows? Okay, let's get into it. Let's get <laughs> Look cute. <laughs> this is so unesthetic, you guys. So sorry. I'm not that aesthetic this morning. I got a chai. <laughs> we just finished our little breakfast at Modern. Modern. Agree. <laughs> really both said that. Modern. Modern bagel and bread, I think is the name. Okay. Actually, Whoa, I'm very shaky. I'm not used to not having my thing I put my phone on, so. I give it. Shaky. Tell me what you got first. I got this everything seasoned bagel, gluten free, with a scrambled egg, and then it was like a mushroom sausage. Was it mushroom? Mushroom. This was really good. It was so good. So flavorful. And the, I don't think that the sausage was real. It was vegan. So it was vegetarian. So Jared I got tried to it. try it. And she loved it. And you it got It tasted a... so good. And then I got a chai. A hot chai Tell with all the Tell me your ratings milk. for both. 
for the bagel itself, it gets a 10 out of 10. I'm not even being dramatic. It was okay. so freaking good. Oh, 9 out of 10. It was okay. really good. What would have made it a 10? I don't know, maybe even a little bit of extra sauce. It had a little bit of sauce on it, but I'm not sure what kind of sauce. Maybe it was mayo. I'm not sure. Okay. But if it, had, it would have had a little bit more, and there was nothing green on it. I wish there would have been a little green something. so I felt healthier. <laughs> like some arugula or something, something. would have been nice. And then my chai gets a 2 out of 10. It wasn't the greatest. Yikes. All right, first, I had a lot of chais in my time. I wanted a this good morning bowl where it was like yogurt and granola and fruits and stuff, but she said they were out of it. So I got these lemon pancakes that just were very eggy. You ever have a pancake and were it just eggy? tastes like I feel like they were eggy egg. because they're gluten free. They, they just tasted very eggy, not much flavor. And I got an iced chai with oat milk. I wasn't impressed with either. Jin's that I tried, the sausage was good. So if we come back, I'm gonna get like a breakfast sandwich type thing because they have- I think the bagel sandwiches are where- that's They have plant-based stuff. So I'm gonna get that next time maybe, but the pancakes, but probably a three out of 10, maybe a two. Wow, really that bad? Yeah. Why'd you save them? <laughs> I save them. I'm calling you out, okay? <laughs> and I saved them. I don't know, I feel bad throwing away food because it cost me $20. Wait, those pancakes were For bucks? this and that. Oh, I spent 28 and I got a sandwich and I got the chai and I ate a donut and I got a picture to go for $28, Jira. I got this you and pancakes for $20. And I don't like either. The more I drink, this money. chai is not that bad. Same. The chai, I would give it a three out of 10, okay, maybe I'll a two. Level up. I'm not sure so anyway, but we're gonna go to Aldi. I don't know if I'm gonna show that because that's not that exciting. Cause you guys know what grocery stores look like, but. <laughs> but they don't know what bakeries look like. And no. Sure. No. Not in LA. So I'll keep you guys updated after the fact. We're in parking garages and stuff. The roads here are kind of crazy. People are so just crazy drivers, but have I been doing a good job, Jared? Jen's been doing great. Thank you so much. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye. Okay, friends, so we got all of our groceries. Yeah, we did. We went back to the Airbnb, put away the groceries, ate a little bit. I got changed because I was getting a little warm. And we're gonna go by the Walk of Fame and see some stars. And then we're going to meet with Dean Butler, who I think I mentioned is Jed's boss. He played Almanzo Wilder on Little House over here where the festival is going to be because tomorrow starts kind of not the festival but we tomorrow's media, media day. day we have media day tomorrow so we're gonna go by there and i think that should finish up our day yeah probably. so who do you want to see when we go to the walk of fame like who you're starting to see we want to see lucy yes. lucille ball lucille ball desi, desi arnaz desi. michael landon who's from little house has a star um We'll see who else, so that's the plan. I will insert clips here. I'm so tired, <laughs> so there's that. Okay, bye. Good morning, friends. Good morning. We're getting ready for media day. We are. What's happening on media day, Jared? So, all the local news outlets and stuff are coming to interview the cast and get like film of behind the, the scene footage of the sets and all of that jazz. So, we didn't take any footage yesterday when I don't we know saw if I everything. Did or not. I think I might have did a couple. But we'll take some today. That'll be better. We have all day to literally create content. So that's, that's super fun. So I got news that I'm supposed to be Miss Karen's assistant this weekend, which is mom. Dean came up to Jara. Like as soon as he hugged me and said hello, he like went to Jara and was like, we need to talk. Do you want to work this? Wanna, do, do you want to work this weekend? And I was like, sure. Jara's like, what am I doing? So that's very exciting, but yeah, we're about to head out in a little bit and keep you guys updated. The sets are beautiful, amazing, oh, emotional. Very emotional. We haven't got to see the actual outsides yet, the, the facades, facades, but we saw the insides yesterday. We so. saw the interiors, they're separate. So they have 
three interior sets and then they have the facades actually at big sky ranch where it was filmed beautiful the I'm amount of excited. detail that they put in so we have the mercantile the little house and the schoolhouse the yes. church beautiful so yeah keep you guys updated Nothing. have a great day <laughs> We are here. This is the outside of the set of Little House. There's Jen. Let me show you the inside real quick. Very exciting. Let's see. Here it is in all its glory. Beautiful, amazing. And this is the mercantile. It's so beautiful. This one might be my favorite. Is it your favorite? I think so. I love all the details of it because we have all the little merchandise over here. We have the sewing corner, which was one of my favorite things, and the candy counter, which I love. I love all these threads in here. Okay, friends, so this is the schoolhouse slash church. She looks like this. Let me back up a little bit. Miss Beetle, Jen's over there right now, but <laughs> taking pictures. But Miss Beetle was here. I'll insert a little clip of that. And she wrote on the board this morning. Very cute. She said, Good morning, students. Miss Beetle. So surreal and beautiful. It's honestly so weird to be in it. Your brain's like, is this real life? Love it. There's a lot of lights. Sorry. Love it. Love it. Well, friends, we're in Walnut Grove. Over here is the school slash church. We got Nellie's restaurant slash hotel and the Olsen's Mercantile.
Hey friends, so it's been a very crazy weekend and I haven't shown my face on here I think since Friday and it's Tuesday. I haven't been the best YouTuber. <laughs> it's been it's been a bit crazy. Um so I don't even know how much I really have filmed this weekend. I'm not gonna know until I edit it all. But Friday through Sunday was the festival, the Little House Festival. And when I tell you, I don't think I've worked that hard for that many hours, probably ever in my life, because we were working like 12 hour days, something like that, 11, 12 hour days. And being on our feet the all three days and so busy that I didn't hardly even have time to film because I was assisting Miss Karen Grassley, who plays Ma, um, Carolyn Ingalls, on Little House on the Prairie. I was looking to see if I had her book because I can show you where did I put it. Here it is. This is her book. Bright Lights and Prairie Dust by Karen Grassley. So literally had the most surreal time with her. I was assisting her through the weekend and by her side the entire time. And she was so sweet, so genuine with me. Um, we had a very special time and relationship together. She signed my book um, and she was just a big blessing to me. Uh, made me very emotional. I feel like the whole weekend it was so go, go, go that I didn't even have time to process it. But on Sunday, the last day when she was leaving and we had a hug, I like started to cry. Cause I was like, this was a once in a lifetime opportunity for me. And it was very surreal. So the weekend was great. Met so many great people, loved the cast. Um, very just unbelievable that it was even a thing. Oh, I have a picture. Jen, where's that? Do you have that picture I can show them? I already packed it away. I can pop it up on the screen probably. Yeah. You have the digital Yeah. Copy. But we got a picture with the whole cast. Mm -hmm. And Karen, if I can zoom in, I'll show you. Karen was holding my hand. Yeah. Which was so sweet. Um, my favorite cast members is Dean Butler, who's a uh, manzo. Um, love Charlotte. Love Charlotte. She played Miss Beetle. Um, who else did we see? Miss Lucy, who was <gasps> Lucy Lee Flippin. Eliza Jane. Love her. Um, we also met Patrick, who played Andy. Patrick Labrador. Love him. Is there anybody so I'm missing? I don't. Um, Oh, oh Miss Pamela. We already knew Pamela, but she Pamela was um, Sarah Carter. Wendy Louie and her twin sister and the Carrie yes. twins and Michael Landon Jr. Yes, yeah, so I got to meet Michael Landon and some of his kids, which was really, really cool. So genuine down to earth. Like, literally Michael Landon. I was in, like, the staff room. We called it the green room. And I was in there in the morning time. Um, and I hadn't met him yet officially, but maybe he'd seen me around running around with Karen and he walked in. It was just me and a couple of like this kitchen staff ladies. And he looked at me and he was like, good morning. Just like so, so friendly to a stranger. So casual, so nice. Down to earth. And then I got to officially meet him um, when I was with Karen like the next day. And Leslie Landon. Yeah, his sister. Matthews, who's his sister. So and sweet. she is a doll. And she is in the last like two seasons of mm -hmm. Little House. And she plays at a plum, I yeah. think. And she's the teacher. For the so they were all amazing. Trip was amazing. Then I wake up on, on Monday. So I think I had told you guys I had been sick this last week before I came. And I had to go to the doctor. I have very deep chest congestion. I had to have steroids last week. And I was feeling better. Over the weekend, I still had like a cough. I wasn't, I'm not contagious or anything, so I wasn't worried about that. Um, had a cough, but then Monday, which was yesterday, I wake up and I feel it really heavy on me. I was coughing up green stuff which was concerning, have a hard time breathing. I called my doctor in Tulsa and he said, instead of just prescribing me more meds, he wanted me to go see a doctor here because he was just concerned and he wanted to make sure they could read my vitals. So I went in 
And the doctor was really sweet. She was concerned that if this mucus stays in my chest that it could develop into pneumonia. So prescribed me antibiotics and steroids and I had to do a breathing treatment, which I have a clip of and I'm gonna show you guys. Um, and I felt like trash yesterday. Thankfully, I do feel a lot better this morning and we already had our Warren Brothers um, tour scheduled, which is the Friends set, which I'm the biggest Friends fan and Gilmore Girls set. So I was like, I do not want to miss it. I'm trying really hard not to push myself. I'm taking vitamin C and all my medications and we're going to rest the rest of the day. Um, but my immune system has been compromised. So I really need to be careful not to be around people too much. Um, we are traveling home tomorrow at the airport, which kind of scares me since I am going to be around a lot of people. Um, just going to do whatever I can to try to prevent it. It's been kind of crazy, exhausting, but amazing, but I'm very ready to be home in my own bed and be able to rest and recuperate. So that's kind of a recap. We're going to head to the Warren Brothers. I don't know how much I can film there. I don't know the rules of that, but if I can film, I'm going to film. So yeah, let's go. So we just got out of the tour. We were literally there for how long, Jen? Oh, three, hours, three and four, a half hours. Three, three and a half. What do we rate it? What do we think? It was really, really cool. I learned I'm squinting. A lot. Why don't I just pull oh, my sunglasses? Oh, the friends up there. Oh, you see them. Friends. Um, I learned a lot so, and it was a good time. Where's my freaking sunglasses? I was like, I thought you were talking about your phone. I said it's in your phone. <laughs> Hold well on. We got to walk to our car. And oh, I almost just busted my booty off that curb. Um, anyway. It was a seventy dollar tour and I think yeah. it was worth it. I think so. We got they to didn't go to charge Central. you to take pictures. I love that. And, and we got to go to Central Perk. We got coffee there, which was cool. And got we got some little souvenirs. I always like to get a magnet and an ornament. Me and Richard usually do whenever we travel, so I'm gonna bring that home. We got to sit on the set of Friends, which was a dream. Which was emotional. We got to walk around in Stars Hollow. Loved that. Which was that. super cool. And also learned that Pretty Little Liars and Heart of Dixie was also filmed on that same set, and my mind was blown by that. Very I was bizarre. Like, Wait, what? Super bizarre. Crazy. It was a fun time. <laughs> now so, we're hungry. We're hungry, we're tired. And yeah, I'm not extremely worn out. I'm sure you're probably I'm worn tired. out because your girl is a sick girly. You need to take all your drugs. And we have to now. leave tomorrow. Yeah. And I think I'm starting do. my period. And so <laughs> it's a rough go of it. Last day in Hollywood. It's great. Anyway, that's all we got. Bye. <laughs> I hate this home. I hate home. <laughs> Sleep deprived because no, we can't tell them the story right now. I know, but I'm just gonna tell them a quick you snippet. Later. There was a bird and a power Shh. outage. It's just. Shh. I'll tell you later. Okay, bye. This is the Jen doesn't have a window on her window. <laughs> <laughs> hey friends so i am back home and i have been for a while now i have honestly just been recuperating from traveling and being sick and all that jazz but i realized i need to film my outro for this video while i was editing last night so first let me tell you the story real quick about um what jen was talking about we were talking about on the plane so the night before we leave I don't know if I can remember all the details. And honestly, it would have been way funnier if Jen was here to tell, tell it with me, but it is what it is. Um, the night before we leave, we go to bed at like 11 o'clock 
and we were supposed to wake up at 5.30. So we were like, we need to get some rest. Go to bed. I wake up at like one o'clock to go pee. And when I get back in bed, I realize all of our electricity shuts off. And I was like, oh no. Cause our Airbnb was all already pretty warm. Um, cause there was no a AC, there was just like a fan. So the fan was the only thing that was helping me through the night because I was getting hot in bed. So I was like, oh my God, I'm not gonna be able to sleep. So I told Jen, Jen the electricity went off. She was like, it's okay, go back to bed. I go back to bed, but she can't because apparently she starts hearing, there's like a window right above the bed. She starts hearing a very loud bird like ah, ah, like she has a much better impression than me and very loudly for like 45 minutes she can't go to sleep so then she wakes me up and she's like there's a bird listen listen and I can like faintly hear like a very far away like cheep, 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 cheep. I can like not even hear it and she's like it's been so loud and going on for like 45 minutes I have never heard of a bird that is this loud in the middle of the night and then she's like do you think I should go out there and try to scare it away oh my god and I'm like no <laughs> but I was like look outside and see if anyone else on the street has electricity because the electricity was still off she looks outside and the whole block is dark so we're like okay it's like a whole power outage issue she texts the airbnb host and is like hey um so sorry to be reaching out so late because at this point it's like two o'clock in the morning or something like that um i what did she say I wish I had it. Um, she said, we've been without power for like 45 minutes and there's a very loud sound coming from outside, possibly an alarm system. She knew it was not an alarm system. She knew it was a bird, but then she put in parentheses, possibly a bird. <laughs> she, she said, please help. We were so sleep deprived at this point. We were like, delusional so then I give her earplugs like I have foam earplugs for like the plane you know and she puts them in and she said she can still hear this bird but she's able to finally go to sleep um, and this was between like 2 and 3 in the morning then I wake up at 4 o'clock in the morning with period cramps very bad period cramps I most of the time at home my main relief from period cramps is like a heating pad I didn't have a heating pad so I took some medicine but it was it takes a while for like the pain reliever to kick in so I was just in pain I it didn't feel comfortable to lay down I was like I need to go get in the shower because that warmth is the only thing that's gonna get me relief but there's no electricity so I had to, I was like Jen I gotta go oh I forgot Okay, let me finish this part, but I forgot something. I gotta go take a shower. So I went and took a warm shower in the dark with like my flashlight in the corner lighting up the room a little bit. I forgot when Jen went out, went to look out the door to see if there was a power outage on her way back, she slams her leg into the bed frame and her leg starts to bleed. <laughs> so anyway, fast forward back to where I was four o'clock in the morning I had to go take a warm shower I did not go back to sleep after this Jen was able to sleep a little bit during this time but I literally just stayed awake I could not lay back down I was cramping I didn't feel good to lay down which is weird because usually I get relief from laying down but I didn't have my heating pad so then um the electricity comes back on at like 5 20 a.m. which is like 10 minutes before we're supposed to get up get up and I was also thinking in my brain like I have food I wanted to heat up before breakfast we need to have the lights on in this place so we can see what to pack because at that time you know there's no sunshine outside for it to light up the room so thank god the electricity comes back on right before we get up 
and the Airbnb host responds with, <laughs> hey, like in the morning when we were about to leave, hey, so sorry, there was a power outage. Um, it does seem like it was a bird that was making the loud noise. Unfortunately, we don't have any control over that. I apologize. <laughs> oh my God, it was so funny. And then we had a very exhausted travel day. We were both literally out of it. By the time we get back home, um, like I, me and Richard, I'm trying to think what time we got back, like around five o'clock-ish. Um, I laid, I took a shower and I laid down at like six o'clock and I literally slept until the next morning. Like I slept like 15 or 16 hours. That's how exhausted I was. I was also still recovering from being sick and my immune system was whack. So I was also exhausted from that. And I started my period. So it was a doozy, but that's the really funny story from, we can laugh at it now. Um, it feels great to be home reminiscing over the festival is honestly surreal and so special um I have kept in touch with Karen which has been very special um we had a phone call the other day and it was honestly just a really special experience for me with her and I'm excited to finish her book but anyway I'm headed to an appointment so I gotta get going but I hope you guys enjoyed the video I know um, there's not as much footage as there could have been, but at the same time, it's like, I really was not able to film. I was hardly on my phone at all during the festival. That's how busy we were. Um, just because, you know, the cast members schedules were so packed full every single day and we were there to assist them. So we were, we were keeping busy for real, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're new, hit the like button. And I'll see you guys next time.